that odious stench. Smells like. Hey there. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm Jake, and welcome to Hymns of My Wake. Um, this is a. Uh, the second going to be the second episode of my kind of spotlight on the label. Well, not really spotlight. I'm just going through the whole discography. But this is going to be the second episode of that. So we've got the releases six through not six, so I have seven through twelve to go through today. Um, start off with. Farmia, Zmar Twitch, 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 Twitch. I don't know. I don't speak Polish, but that's how it's spelled to me. Um, this is on a nice red cassette. J card. Lyrics there if you speak Polish. Yeah, this is a, a Polish band and you can clearly hear it in the music. Definitely got that uh that Polish black metal vibe going on. Very very brutal. Um this one kind of stands stands out from some of the the other Polish bands and in, in the way that it uh, incorporates some some folk music, some some traditional kind of regional folk instruments, if not music instruments, into the music. Um, yeah, and don't let that turn you off. It's very sparse throughout the music kind of just a peppering throughout, just kind of adding to the the overall blend of the music. But yeah, this is, this is Varmia's debut, their first record. Um, this was recorded, this is actually recorded in a barn um, in the middle of nowhere. And, you know, from the sounds of it, you couldn't tell. It doesn't have a super raw sound to it. I mean, but it's also not super. It's not. It's not polished. But it's also not, you know, raw black metal. It's. it's it, I mean, it's it's got a really nice production to it. I don't know how else to put it. Like, for for what it is, the the sound is is great. Um, so yeah, that's Varmia. Yeah. Zmar Twitch. Next up, we've got Ch Chiral Gazing Light Eternally. And this one comes on a nice blue cassette. This one doesn't have the nice, the big old fold out J card, but it's still, still real nice. You know, like I said in the last video, Mark does, Mark does excellent, excellent work on these. Yeah, this one was out of 100. I think most of these are out of 100 copies. This one's copy number 28. Sorry, I'm dropping shit because I'm trying to. Trying to keep the cassette away from the, the microphone so it's not all clinging around in your ear. So yeah. Um yeah, this is uh some Italian atmospheric um black metal. It's got some some again some folk um mixed in there. This one's got a little more than that Varmia album. It's got a little more of that folk. It's got a. Um, it's actually got a couple songs that are almost straight up acoustic to it. But again, it's it's fantastic. 
Um, and then the, you know, there's other versions of this, other labels put this out, but um, this one actually comes with, it doesn't say on there, but the Gazer's Throne, the last track on there, is an exclusive to the Folkfinger release. But yeah, um, it's also got some synth, some synth work on here that um, to me reminds me a lot of like uh, Eldemar, her um, luster type of, I mean, it's kind of got that sound to it, that, that synthy sound to it. Um, it's a concept album and to quote, to quote the, it's a solo project, to quote the man behind it, uh, it's about the evolution and perception of the perpetual flow of time on men, places, and memories. So, yeah, definitely worth checking out. You know, everything I show in this video is definitely worth checking out if it sounds like it's something up your, up your alley. So yeah, that's Cheer All, Cheer All, Gazing Light, Eternity. Eternity. Next up is a band that anybody who has ever dabbled in post-black or black gaze should know. This is fuck. Disclaimer. I'm a little drunk right now. I might have I did things in the wrong order tonight tonight and I drank before I shot the video when I should have done things the other way around. I forgot to tell you guys at the start of the video what was playing in the background. Anyways, playing in the background today we've got Violet Cold, the, the band I was alluding that everybody should, that has dabbled in post-black or black gaze should know. Yeah. <clears throat> Violet Cold with Anami. Well, that's not showing up at all. Well, it's a little bit there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Violet Cold is a one man project from, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of this country, Azerbaijan. Not a lot of bands from there. Probably this is the only one I know of. Um, yeah. Violet Cold are... He is... Really one of the... The... The four... One of the... The flat... Maybe one... You'd say one of the flagship artists in Post Black. Um... He's got a lot of variety in his releases. Um, kind of, kind of goes throughout the kind of the spectrum of, of the genre. Really does a lot of uh, experimentation. It, if you've heard his newest album, it even goes more into like a, mixes a lot of ele electronics into the music. Which, if that's not your thing. I wouldn't listen to that specific album, but this one is personally this is my favorite Violet Cold release. Um, I think a lot of people would say the same. This is really, really um, some top shelf post black slash. He goes into some. Uh, there's a lot of black gaze, maybe influence in this, maybe straddles the line between, you know, straight up post-black and going over into the, the more black gaze type stuff, but yeah, um, there's uh, even some flutes and some hand drums on this, which really add a nice, a nice element to the sound. Um, this release was actually co-released with another label that I'm not going to name in this video because 
they burned me for about 50 to 60 dollars worth of merchandise a couple years ago and yeah I'm not gonna su support or mention that that type of label that'll do that so yeah. here's the J card if you want to see that copy 82 um, yeah I'm sure if you guys want to know who the other label is I'm sure you could see it on the cassette or pick it up from the J card or whatever or even Google it but I'm not gonna mention them because fuck them also the way I was able to show you the cassette and also have it playing is they also put it out on LP and yeah, a lot to show here it's just a simple um, it's not a gatefold or anything but it was a it is a 2 LP set It's on, just on black vinyl, so I'm not going to show that. Um, so yeah, that's Violet Cold. Uh, next up, we've got some U.S. black metal. And this is a... I could be wrong here, but I think this is possibly the only demo that Full Finger put out. It's definitely the first demo they put out. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna actually. I got more things coming up in the video, so this is not. I mean, we're splitting hairs. It's not technically not the only demo they put out, but could be considered. I don't know. Um, yeah. Sovereign. I don't know if I said that. Sovereign. Um, Spirit Warfare demo, uh, blah blah blah, something right there. Yeah, this is a uh, just some some raw black metal, raw U.S. black metal out of Arizona, which is also where Folkfinger is based out of. Um, yeah. You can get a good feel for the music here, just here from the from the artwork on here. Um, if it's if uh, it's your kind of sounds like your kind of thing, definitely definitely enjoy this if you if you're into the more raw side of black metal. Um, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, there were times. I honestly wondered, you know, with with the the rawness of the sound, I started to concern have concerns about whether even my speakers were, were um, working right or not. As I was listening at work on my little earbuds, I um, started to concern whether or not they were blown out because just a warning: if you listen to this, it opens off on a very very harsh sound. I'll leave it at that. But yeah, really good stuff. Everything I show from Full Finger is really good stuff. You should know that by now. Really good stuff. Um, so we got two more releases here. Um, we're gonna go with another Arizona band. This is. Suicide Forest, Descend into Despair, and as I was saying, Sovereign wasn't the only demos, um, this is actually a compilation of Suicide Forest's first two demos, which were in which were titled, in the first one was Emptiness, and the second one was Indifference, um, yeah, yeah, uh, as you could probably gather from the name Suicide Forest, this is some some depressive suicidal black metal. Uh, it's also got a bit of a a Cascadian sound to it. Nice black cassette here. We'll show the J card. Um, copy 
39 right there. Sorry. I'm trying not to make too much sound with the with the kit with the case here. Um one other thing. There's a track on here that actually incorporates a Rick and Morty sound sound bite. Which you know sounds very very unusual but it actually it works really well it does it's not um, cheesy or corny or anything to with, when you know it's not cheesy or corny or anything it's it, it's well done tasteful um, relevant to the music it works well let's get on to the last release here this, this last release is, again, sorry, I probably shouldn't be making this video right now, I'm a little, a little tipsy, forgive me, um, last, the last cassette here is Escapism, Tales of Elder Forest, Nice, kind of a clear, almost kind of a grayish tone to the clearness here. Yeah, nice cassette there. J card. Um, initially, well, not initially. Initially, my favorite out of all these releases was... No, 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 no. Let me start over. Violet Cold, I think, was the was the band that led me to Full Finger. So, initially, that was my favorite release. Um, when I put in a big order with them, I think, to receive the... Cause the received them all and it was listening to them. Suicide Forest quickly developed into a favorite. So much so I actually ordered uh, CD copies from from I didn't mention this. So Suicide Forest was a solo project as well. Um, yeah. Austin Kruger is the man behind it. I ordered CDs and stuff from him. After receiving that, that was one of the shirts, whatever. I ordered a bunch of stuff. I even ordered this little photo right here. Well, not photo. It's not a photo. This little picture, painting, copy, whatever it is. Right here from from Suicide Forest. It's actually um, a little piece of artwork done by one of the live session members that was originally only sold at shows. But they put up a couple extras on the band camp and I snagged this one. That sits right back here. Currently. But yeah. Let me see if I can get back on track. I've been rambling about bullshit. Um as things progressed, I think this one quickly quickly became my favorite out of the albums I've shown today. You know, this one and Violet Cold right now I would say in my book are the best two albums I've shown. Don't let that detract from the other four releases that I've shown. Um, they're all all great releases. This is just kind of my my um, preferences um, I don't think I've said this yet Escapism is a Ukrainian um, band and I'm a big big fan of the Ukrainian black metal sound um, yeah, this this is a atmospheric maybe even melodic you know black metal pretty there's not a lot of 
a lot more I can say about it. Uh, I feel I feel kind of kind of dumb here I'm trying to explain it. Um, sorry for the the brief description on this, but don't let that fool you. This is actually a very very good album. Um, as I was saying, top one of the top two out of this stack for me. Um, anyways, I'm kind of I'm kind of rambling now, kind of going off on tangents and everything. If you haven't yet, check out Folk Finger Records. Um, they're putting out. They're consistently putting out top-notch material. Um, they actually just released a, a new batch of, I think there was three three releases, all three fantastic stuff. Um, I'm not gonna shout them out right now. What copies they were? If you if you're interested, you know, go to their website page. It'll be uh, in the description. Check them out. Check out the new stuff. Check out whatever they have in stock. Pick up one of everything. You're not gonna be disappointed. Um, anyways, the records, this side of the record's over. I better stop the video, get, get on with things. So, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and um, yeah, see you next time.